So a lot of you Pisces can take it or leave it. Look, you have the Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the Lovers. When it comes to love, a lot of you Pisces are very much so in a very good position right now to sit back, relax, watch other people make an idiot out of themselves if that's something that they are ultimately going to do. Um, a lot of you Pisces have set yourself up for success when it comes to uh, being single. And that's one of the things that a lot of people don't talk to you about one of the benefits of being single, right? You know, so many people try to make it seem like being single is such a bad thing. <laughs> There's a lot of power in being single. And one of the things that uh, is so powerful about being single is the fact that when you're not talking to anybody, you can sit back and you can afford to play the field because you're not really with anybody. You're talking to other people or you can afford to talk to other people, right? You have that choice. And because of the fact that you have that choice, that means that 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 means that there's enough time to let someone slip up if they are not really being serious about getting to know you. So <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician now represents how, since that's the case, <clears throat> since that's the case, this is a situation where, um, so because of the fact that you have that luxury, because you have that time to sit back and watch to see if a person is being serious about getting to know you or not, that puts the pressure on the other person, right? It puts more of, uh, of the pressure on the other person because you can afford to sit back and watch what it is that they do while at the same time you, Pisces, pull your own weight. Now, the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician, you have been getting some people that are interested in you, okay? This is something as current events. But at the same time, you Pisces, um, again, you're not really making such an extreme decision on if you like the person or if you don't. Now, again, lovers, you would want to find someone that you can be in something serious with, but you're not necessarily really counting your eggs before they hatch just yet. You're really just trying to see if those types of relationships or this interaction with these people would work for you. And the strength and the judgment now is about how um, and that type of approach that you Pisces are taking, that type of strategy where you're not necessarily trying to run someone down to get to a milestone to make something happen is ultimately really creating a lot of chaos in people's lives. And the reason why I'm saying that is because <laughs> the, the judgment and the Knight of Wands pretty much says it all. They didn't really think when, when most people get themselves into a relationship, it's hurried. It's something that very much so it's like you just meet, you just met each other one day and then next week y'all are moving in. And it's like, wow, you know, it only took a week. You know, you're already telling each other that you love each other and it's only been a week, right? So, and you just known them a week ago, right? Cold to now telling each other that you love each other. And a lot of you Pisces are realizing that that's not necessarily the best approach and that you're not <clears throat> you're not going to do that anymore for yourselves. You're just going to sit back, pull your own weight, right? Do your part of the, the relationship and then sit back and see if the person is going to do their part of the relationship. And that's messing them up because you realize that they can't. So the Knight of Wands now represents... This is what has you being in a situation where you know that they're not. They can say whatever it is that they want to, to, that they can say. You Pisces know that some of the people that you have went out with, they are factually on some BS because they are a waste of time. They, they trying to make it seem like they got all of this got, that they got going on. And they know that, and that's the power that you have over them. That's something that a lot of those people, if they do not change their ways, they're never really gonna be able to live down that because there's a power in knowing you, there's a power in you knowing that a person can play all these games, act as tough as they want, act as gangster as they want, say whatever it is that they want, but the stuff that they're saying is actually BS and you actually have the, the the enlightenment, the facts to be able to know that they're BSing, you know. So now the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords is about how 
So you Pisces are, are moving forward, getting to know other people. And you're you're moving forward the correct way. You are remembering the, the games that people can play. And I'm not saying that you are allowing that to rule you. What I'm saying is that you are being more careful with the realization that people could be lying, right? There's a chance that people can always be lying. But this is why you're taking such of that quote unquote balanced approach is that idea of you're, you're getting to know them, still wanting to reach milestones without taking too, too long. <clears throat> but at the same time, you, you are pulling your own weight. You're, you're, you know, potentially paying for these dates yourselves, right? Or paying half, I should say, calling them first, initiating the conversation, showing effort with them. And you're trying to see <clears throat> if these people are, are down with it, if these people are down with it and see, you're, you're seeing how serious they are about this. And, and naturally, Pisces, you have to understand that some people are not really going to be 100 with it, you know, while others are going to be absolutely down for it. Those people that you, that are down for it, you want to make sure that they have other traits, right? You don't just want to make it so that, you know, you're charging them up. You want to make it so that they have other traits. Do they, do they want to be in a relationship? Are they going to put an effort to get to know you, right? And to and to make sure that that spark between the two of you is still there and it's maintained and it even grows. And at the same time, are the two of you going to uh, chase excellence together? So let's clarify the Ten of Swords. The King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> So the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords is about how, and that's the that's the correct way that a lot of you Pisces are really looking at this situation. You're looking at it with a fresh new pair of eyes. You're not looking at it from a biased approach, a biased approach. You're looking at it from a perspective. <laughs> excuse me. You're looking at it from a perspective of, are these people really going to be a great investment? Right? Are they going to be great people to get to know, or are they going to be people that are going to come on in and try to disrupt everything that you've got going on? And you're paying attention to that, but that's also the, the very good or the best mind frame to actually be in. The Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles is about, and you're also paying attention to how you feel around them as well. So you're paying attention to what they're doing, what they're saying, and how you feel as the three main stages of whether or not you and this person are actually a good fit for each other, right? Do the two of you feel like y'all are kids again, right? Teenagers again, right? When when love was fresh and, and everything was on point, how do y'all feel together? <laughs> 